What's going on guys? Alex Sherv that one 480C and today I'm ready to do my full review on the Tuya Knives NV4. Uh, this is a knife that is loaned in via the Lefty Pass Around and this thing is fantastic. Uh, I have really, really enjoyed having this in. Um, it's a great knife, great model, uh, just just really cool. And again, I've, I've really enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna miss this one. Um, and I'm not gonna run out and buy one, I will say, but I definitely have added this to kind of my, my short list of knives. Uh, if I ever maybe catch one on a good deal or if there's ever a sale over at Tuya Knives, um, I think the price point's really good. Materials are really, really good. Um, and it's just a, a cool, unique looking knife. Um, got some schmutz on the blade there. And I just think it's really good. So this is, I think the first two yet that I've ever handled. Um, and Dave Warren is kind of the guy, the the, the creator. Um, I don't know if he's the owner of Tuya, uh, but over at Tuya Knives USA. And he has came out with a banger. Um, this is just really good. Um, he kind of had a collaboration because I think um, Colin Mason Pierre over at CM Knife Designs, which is half of Devo Knives with Kevin, um, he helped him sort of make or you know tweak the blade um, for this knife. So it's kind of a collaboration between the two of them. Um, so jumping right into materials, you guys can see it has beautiful purple haze fat carbon inlays, um, a really nice one on the show scale side, and then a smaller one there on the lock bar side has a lo uh, frame lock a milled titanium pot clip that for being a milled clip goes to the, you know, pretty deep in the pocket, which is nice. Um, it is a righty only carry um, just due to having that um, insert over here. You have a lanyard hole over here, which is nice. I love when they build them into the backspacer like that. You have a beautiful Warncliffe blade. Um, it's three and a half inches. So definitely in my opinion, a bigger knife for me. Uh, I kind of tend to tap out right around that size. Um, I wish, you know, if Aver did a smaller version of this, I would be all over it. Uh, and you guys know, I tend to like smaller knives. 3.25 is kind of like my, my limit. Um, I don't get bigger knives that much. So the fact that I am really even considering buying a three and a half inch knife should tell you how good this knife is. Um, has thumb studs. They're kind of like stacked, which is really nice. Um, it's, you know, definitely a unique style on a thumb stud, but I really like how they did that. There is the Tuya logo right there on the blade. It'll focus uh, right there. And then over here you have uh, DW4, which is Dave Warren 4, but this is the, the NV4. Um, I don't know if I've said that already, uh, NV4. Um, and then the S90V on the blade steel, which is really cool. Um, I just said on one of my previous videos that I just filmed today, the S90V is kind of not really utilized a whole lot. Um, it's definitely, it's definitely not used like 20 CV and M390 and stuff like that. So it's really refreshing when production knives utilize it because it has really good edge retention. Um, if it's heat treated nice and heat treated well, um, I can definitely appreciate when they um, add S90V because it's just kind of a, kind of a brush of fresh, brush of a breath of fresh air. I cannot talk today, guys. Um, uh, but yeah, it's on bearings. Uh, has no internal milling, but according to the website, um, weight is 3.8 ounces, which I think is really good. The fact that this is a sub four ounce knife, especially with a, um, you know, roughly 3.5 inch blade. Um, this has a hand finished belt satin, which is nice. Um, so there's two different versions. There's this one, which is kind of the premium version. Uh, and then there's also two, um, there's an aluminum infused carbon fiber and a copper infused carbon fiber. The copper infused is out of stock, but this one is in stock as well as the aluminum infused one is in stock. Um, and price point on these, which I'll, you know, talk about later on, but this is $269 and the, uh, both the aluminum and the copper are $239. So I think those are very, very fair prices. Um, and yeah, this is a design from Dave, according to the website, which is cool. Uh, he says he thinks that this is the best variant of the NV design so far. And Dave, I would have to agree with you. I think this, you, you knocked this out of the park, man. If you happen to watch my video, this is really, really fantastic. Um, just a, a really, really good usable, um, but premium knife at the same time. Uh, and I have really, really enjoyed it. So um, I think that's all for materials. Um, one thing you can't see right there is, I better pick up on that. You might be able to see the, uh, if it's going to focus or not. 
you can see the D10 ball track, which is not really a big deal for, for you know for me personally, but some people might have a gripe with that. Um, but and then one other thing, the there is some detent lash. You guys might be to hear that. It's kind of clicking the blade in and out. Uh, and Kevin found that on his videos, or when he had it on his videos, uh, which isn't a big deal. It's just something I wanted to point out to you guys. Uh, I guess that's really the only negative thing that I can say about this knife because I really do love this knife, guys. Um, so yeah, we're gonna jump right into to action next. And the action on this thing, it just has a really nice detent. You guys can hear it snapping back in there. Um, thumb flick works extremely well. Flies right out of there, very snappy. Um, it has some really good acoustics in my opinion. Just nice and it just, just fires really well. Uh, middle finger flick also fires out of there super nicely. No complaints at all. You can slow roll it, um, sort of, but I really, when you have uh, frame lock knives, um, they're not the easiest things to slow roll, kind of because you just have to get, you know, you have pressure putting on the lock bar, and then you also have that detent ball track to, to get popped out of there. Um, so it's not the best for that for this, but the middle finger flick and the thumb flick are just on point. Oh, as I hit my steering wheel. Um, they are snappy, they are clean, they're, it's, it's just a crisp deployment method, and you guys can see, drops to your nail, one shake, it's closed, or drops to your nail, and you can do some micro shakes. Um, it's, it's very, very smooth, the bearings in here are very nice. I don't know if Kevin took this apart and put skiffs in here, or he upgraded the bearings, I'm not totally sure, uh, but there is no blade play at all, this thing is locked up really, really tight, um, and it just, I have fidgeted with this thing a ton at my desk, um, a ton while I've carried it. It's just, it's sorry about that guys. Um, I'm filming so many reviews today that my phone ran out of storage. Uh, so I had to delete some apps and I had to, um, send some of the videos over to my computer, free up some storage. Um, so I apologize about that, but I think I was talking, uh, wrapping up my, uh, action department saying, I think just, you know, how good the action is. It's clean. It's crisp. It's just, it's very fun to fidget with. Um, I think they knocked it out of the park with, um, with the action on this and I have no complaints at all there. So Dave, if you're watching this, you killed the action. And like I said earlier, you killed the whole knife. This thing is just fantastic. Um, and yeah, so moving on over to the ergo department. Um, this is a bigger knife, you know, three and almost a three and a half inch blade, give or take. Um, so you have a, a lot of real estate here on the handle. And that's one good thing that I like about bigger bladed knives. Um, not that I have a whole lot, but I've handled a lot and they are typically really good ergonomic and they're very good friendly or ergonomically friendly knives when you're you're holding them um now this is a pretty you know pretty simple design you know it's pretty straightforward back here you do have a finger groove here and a finger groove here it's kind of a little fat right in the middle there um and then you have this sort of landing choil up here it's not a flipper choil and not a uh, finger choil but choked back i can get all four fingers on here very very easily with a little bit of the knife sticking up out um, i have about large large size glove hands um, or large glove size hands. Um, and I have plenty of room on here, plenty of real estate to get a good grip. Um, the paw clip is sitting very flush to the scale. And that's a really nice thing about milled clips is they're not gonna provide too much of a hot spot um, when you're holding this knife. And then when you choke up here using sort of this little choil area, um, my thumb lands way out here on the blade. And this blade is just very, I mean, it, this thing is just made to eat things. You're gonna be pushing through cardboard out here. Um, you get really good control with your thumb. Um, and this is just a very utilitarian blade shape. It's great for, for you know dropping your, your tip into cuts and cutting through things. Um, and when you have a really nice usable blade with a really nice usable blade steel, combining that with a, a good ergonomic experience and a good usable sort of simple handle just makes the cutting experience that much better in my opinion. Um, you know, all the all the titanium is nicely rounded and contoured. There's no sharp edges or anything like that. Um, so when you're choked up, it's comfortable. When you're choked back, it's comfortable. You know, you could be doing some 7-Eleven Saturday night gas station fights with Kevin over a Slurpee. That's going to be comfortable. Um, really, any way you hold this knife and any usable grip that you're going to be needing is going to be um, fantastic. It's going to be good. You know, there's no, no issues at all in the ergonomic uh, department. I've had a pleasant experience when I've carried this and I've used it and I've cut a little bit with it. Um, no complaints at all there. So next up is carry. And 
like I said, the, the pot clip, I love milled pot clips. I think it, it works really well on this knife. And for a milled pot clip, this thing carries very, very deep. You only have about that much sticking up out of your pocket. Um, so there's nothing, you know, it's, it's, you're getting almost the best of both worlds from the aesthetic standpoint and the ergonomic comfortableness of a milled clip with the deep carry ability of a deep carry clip. Um, I think this bridges that, you know, sort of that gap very, very well. Um, it drops down in your pocket. You have nothing but, you know, nice and rounded off edges of titanium over here. You have no flipper tab. So if you're dropping your hand down in to maybe get uh, change, chapstick, medicine, anything you might have underneath your knife kind of just floating around, you're not going to be at any risk of pulling it up out of your pocket when you pull your hand out of there. Um, it's just, it carries well. You know, the website say that it was 3.8 ounces. And I think for... For the size of this knife, I think that's a very, very fair weight. Um, you're definitely, you know, it doesn't feel like a brick in your pocket. It carries super well. Um, for being a, you know, a larger size knife, in my opinion, I think everything about it is, it's just, it's a nice package. Um, you know, you do have a kind of a taller blade here, so you're going to have that sticking up out of there. Um, but it's really a pleasant tree, a pleasant tree. It's really a pleasant carry experience. Um, and that's just kind of the theme of the knife, guys. Like, I really don't have a single grape with this knife. Um, it's really that fantastic. It's really that good. Uh, so I guess that kind of leads me into my final category of price point and what I recommend this knife. And by now, I think I've already stated the prices. Um, the fat carbon is $269 and the two, uh, you have an aluminum and a copper infused carbon um, or aluminum, cop a copper or aluminum infused carbon fiber. They go for $239. I think for both of those prices, I, specifically with this one, because you're getting the the hand belt satin, you're getting the um, fat carbon. I just think for two hundred and seventy dollars, I, I think that that is a fantastic price. If you were to hand me this knife and let me fidget it with it, fidget it, let me fidget with it and carry it and you know sort of get my feelings with it, and then come back to you with a price without you telling me, I would say that this would be a three hundred and fifty dollar knife. Um, so the fact that Dave can sell these at that price point is just fantastic. Um, and that's just, you know, I said earlier in the video, I'm not going to run right out and buy one of these. Um, I wish maybe they would have a little bit smaller of a version, but the fact that I'm even considering buying a three and a half inch knife, because you guys know, I tend to stay away from those knives or those size of knives, three and a half inches, or excuse me, three and a quarter inches is kind of my sweet spot for knives. So the fact that I'm even considering buying one of these, because I did say it's on my short list of knives now, it must mean that it's really, really good. Um, if they were to make a smaller version of these, I would be all over it. But I think eventually I'm going to want to pick one of these up, maybe wait for a sale or find one of them on the secondary. But even $270 is just really, really good. Again, I would expect it to be at least 325 or 350 if you weren't, you know, telling me the price when you handed this to me. So I can absolutely recommend this to anybody. Um, you know, and even if you're looking to get maybe a little bit cheaper of a version, get the aluminum or the copper carbon um, infused carbon fiber at 240. I still think that's a fantastic price. But if it were me, just pony up the extra $30 to get the better, the better finish on the blade and to get that beautiful purple haze fat carbon inlays. Um, I can't recommend this knife enough, guys. I think it's fantastic. Um, you know, it's basically been me kind of just rambling about how good this knife is of a review. Um, but I really truly believe that. And I think it's a, a great model. Um, I have not had much experience with Dave and Tuya, um, but I really, I really think that this is his best looking knife, his best, you know, I've only felt this one, so I can't really say it's his best feeling knife, but I've looked at some other ones and I've seen reviews on other ones. And I just think this is all around for a materials, you know, when you're when you're adding the materials, the ergos, the the action, um, the, the the carryability, I think all of it just makes for a fantastic carry. And uh, I wouldn't hesitate to pick one of these up if you guys are interested in them. It's that damn good. So uh, I'm gonna wrap this up now because I've just kind of rambled on about how good this knife is, and um, I don't want to make it any longer than it has to be. So as always, links will be in the description down below. Uh, this currently is in stock, so if you guys are interested in it, definitely go. Um, check it out just because I think you're not going to be disappointed. So um, Dave, if you're still watching this, congrats on having such an awesome model. Um, I think you and Colin, um, you know, your kind of collaboration with the blade shape, you guys killed it. Um, and then just all around this knife is fantastic. So uh, links will be in the description down below, as well as links to Blue Creek Knives and Barnscraft Designs. Please use code 814 ADC to save some money off both of those websites. Uh, leave a comment down below. What are your guys' thoughts on this? Do you have any more, you know, uh, experience with Tuya, 
uh, let me know what you guys have to say. I always love to uh, read the comments. So, um, but I'm gonna wrap this up now, guys. So thank you again so much for watching. Uh, I always greatly appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your morning, day, evening, night, whenever you're watching this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.